Chapter 11 Use of Personal Pronouns I, We, You, He, She, It, They and Me, Us, Him, Her and Them. Look at the following sentences. This is Radhika. Radhika is a good girl. Radhika is my friend. Radhika reads in my class. All the teachers praise Radhika. In these sentences, Radhika is repeated time and again. It sounds boring. Instead of using the same noun again and again, we can use another word in place of this noun. Thus, we can write the above sentences like this. This is Radhika. She is a good girl. She is my friend. She reads in my class. All the teachers praise her. In these sentences, we have used she and her in place of Radhika. These words are called pronouns. Pronoun means pro for a noun. So, pronoun means a word which is used for a noun or in place of a noun. Remember, pronouns are used so as to avoid using the nouns again and again. When we talk about one, we use the pronouns I, me, he, him, she, her, it and you. When we talk about more than one, we use the pronouns we, us, you, they and them. The pronoun you is used for one person as well as for more than one person. Examples of the use of pronouns. Albert is my friend. I like him very much. We study in the same school. He has two sisters. They are Linda and Jane. He likes to play with them. Albert's father, Mr. Finlay, is a serviceman. He works in a bank. His mother, Mrs. Finlay, is a homemaker. She looks after the family. Albert also has a pet cat. It is very playful. It is also very fond of me. Note I, he, she, it, we and they are used as subjects in the sentences. Me, him and them are used as objects in the sentences. The words used both as subjects and objects are called personal pronouns. Remember, personal pronouns as subjects I, we, you, he, she, it and they. Personal pronouns as objects me, us, you, him, her, it and them. Chip.